Luca Brasi 3 by Kevin Gates. Since 2014, people have been anticipating Kevin Gates' Luca Brasi 3 from his standout mixtape. After being released from jail earlier this year, he finally got it done. Has Kevin Gates positioned himself back to where he was before going to jail? Here's our honest review of Luca Brasi 3 by Kevin Gates. Luca Brasi by Kevin Gates, man. My homeboy used to love this series. For real? Yeah, he, he's the only guy that I knew at that time that was huge on Kevin Gates, man. Azar. Yeah. It was good, bro. Uh, how you feel about this album artwork, man? It's cool. I mean, nothing really special about it. It's a simple shot in the car. I do like the black and white, though. But yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I don't know what kind of car that is. I don't know if it's a Wraith. I don't know if it's just a Bentley drop top. I don't know. It's some, it's some shit I can't afford. Yeah. And uh, it's a cool shot. You know what I'm saying? It just, I don't really know if it's any meaning behind it. Just mm-hmm. looks like it was just a cool photo shoot. Yeah. You know. The flow of this album, man. The flow of this album flowed pretty much like any standard Kevin Gates album would, you know. Uh, between super hard stuff and like you know kind of girly songs songs where he's kind of singing but i do like the fact that he kind of addressed a couple situations that stem from him going to jail and kind of like the aftermath of what happened to him in jail and the flow pretty much followed that line of train you know line of thought for kevin gates and that's kind of what he usually does aside from talking about what's happened to him since he got out of jail how you feel about it? Yeah, I thought the flow was pretty steady for a sound of music. I mean, I know we only did that one project before. That's the only ones I'm familiar with. But as far as this project, it had a pretty nice blend of, you know, your nice hard hit production. And like you said, the girly songs and everything like that. But at the same time, I thought it was just consistent with his type of flow, you know. Yeah, highlights, man. My highlights for Luca Braz A3. I like discussion. I like the way he started out the album. It was a nice hard track, but I like the beat for that a lot. After that, money long. I think the hook is kind of, you know, kind of corny, but That's my but I actually like the song. I actually like the lyrics that he's using on there. Uh, Find you again. Hands down, my favorite song on the album. Yeah. I think it's deep. You know, he's he's kind of just talking about him and his wife, uh, Drika, and how. You know, she's kind of changed since he's been in jail, and hmm. he's basically trying to figure out who she is, and she's trying to learn who he is since he's gotten out. And that was the theme throughout a lot of songs about him having to adjust to, like, kind of being a different person, being locked up in jail. Um, Find You Again is definitely one of my favorite songs on this, uh, my favorite song on this album. Uh, Adding Up, I thought that was actually really dope. He has a video for that. Hmm. Uh, Should Have was actually pretty cool to me. And then also... Try um trying a year, I trying thought, a year. <laughs> I thought that was actually pretty cool. I think Kevin Gates actually does a pretty good job of the songs where he kind of sings, somewhat harmonizes in. I think he does a pretty good job with that. Uh, the hard stuff, I already know he can do that. He's got a pretty consistent flow for the majority of the time. He he kind of sticks to the same flow a lot, but when he does change it up, he usually does have a consistent flow. There was a couple of corny things he did, uh, like mentioned like the Friday line, like telling you where it was from. Like I kind of knew, but you know, other than that, those are my highlights for now. Yeah, <clears throat> discussion was a nice way to start off. I thought that was dope. Find you again, like I said, it has to be my favorite song on the tr- on the whole project. Uh, I kind of like in God I Trust. I thought that was alright. Um, what was it? Wrong Love and the Luca Barsi Freestyle. I kind of cared to those a little bit. But yeah, those are my highlights out of the whole project. Low Lights, man. My low lights for this joint. Shaking Back. It just wasn't my style of song. A lot of these yeah, songs. Kind of turned me off. Yeah, yeah. That Serpent H, I wasn't really feeling that as well. Mm-hmm. And then you, it, it's just like, there's a thing with Kevin Gates with me. It's just like, at times, like, it's just on some stuff that I just. And that's the thing, because it's like, he's not talking about something anything that any artist that i don't care to not listen i care to listen to mm-hmm. don't talk about like mm-hmm. he's talking about the same stuff ti is talking about in a lot of instances it's mm-hmm. just the way he chooses to go about talking about it my interest level isn't necessarily there i think yeah he, he doesn't really find a new inventive way of delivering the message or delivering the information and i feel like that might be a reason why some people actually shut kevin gates out that's uh, fair yeah so uh there's just a couple songs up here where it's just like 
it's not like it's a bad song. It's just I just don't care. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like the beat, sometimes the beat might have been wrong. Like in God We Trust, like I think it's cool, but I, I'm not really a huge fan of the beat. Make America Trap Again. I, I did not feel in the beat, but I actually like the song. I like the message. Uh, but it's just, that's just the thing with Kevin Gates. It's just like he got to find, he has to find a more inventive way to talk about the things he's talking about to get more people invested in i'm pretty sure he's pretty happy with the the huge fan base that he does have Mm -hmm. but if he wants to reach more people and and get a a broader fan base he has to find different ways to talk about it like he kind of did on isla like uh his uh last official album before he went to jail like okay we we had did that you wasn't with us yet okay but i like that album a lot Mm -hmm. i thought that was actually really good and i felt like there he had found it and i felt like maybe his time away I felt like kinda this is kind of like up. a warm up okay. album and getting back. You know, he's got to put something out. You know, it's like the basketball court, man. You know, you take a year off, you got to, you might have a bad year. You know, Jordan did when he first came back. And mm-hmm. then the next year he bounced back. So maybe Kevin Gates' album, next album might be a return to form. I'm glad you said that because that's what I feel like this album is for and for that fan base that he's already, you know, amassed. Because. Like me, I'm just immediately not tuned in to what he's saying. Like I, I like the production that he has, and like you said, the way he's, he's like the way he chooses to speak about some things, is just really just like okay, that's all right. But maybe it's like you said, maybe he just need to get something out because there's no features on this album and everything like that. And not to say you need your features, but like that can help me as like not a Kevin Gates listener or fan, kind of warm into you a little bit more because. I'm just hearing you on 18 tracks, track after track after track. And it kind of got me just like, okay, the same thing again, same thing again, same thing again. He might be talking about different things here and there, but it just really was a lot to soak in. And I feel like that's only for fans of Kevin Gates. Like if this was like something with 10 or 12 tracks, I would be like, okay, cool. But I felt like I got a lot and maybe that's what the fans wanted. But for me, who's not really a listener, kind of oversaturated sound for me final thoughts man pretty much what he said if you take this cd and you knock it down to 11 12 songs i think it would have been a lot easier to consume uh he didn't necessarily need you know guest appearances but like you said it would have helped with with you know taking thought away from and break away from you know like maybe even a couple guest appearances on the hooks even though i feel like he does do a good job with his hooks the majority of the time it doesn't hurt like wale is great with hooks but he usually has he gets singers to help with hooks and i just think that helps you ingest the music a lot better Mm -hmm. but lower amount of songs and just trying to get back to where he was with isla i felt like he really just took a step down since he got and it's gonna take him a minute to get back but i feel like you know he, he do a little bit more layup drills and uh, he'd be back where he was before yeah man um like i said this was just toned down a little bit maybe a bit more approachable i'm not trying to hate but it just was just like a lot of the same the same same here and there but i feel the production though i think he has a nice ear for production whoever's in his production team whatever like that Cause some of the beats you just really just you know you can ride to nod your head to and everything like that but as far as you know lyric wise and everything like that i really didn't get that much substance and yeah final grade man i get his joint of dash didn't love it didn't hate it it's there it's mm-hmm. a kevin gates project i feel like it could be better than this for sure it's got some joints up here that i'll probably listen to again but for the majority of me not so much so much good music out unless i felt like listening to kevin gates and, and i'd probably just listen to isla and he had a couple joints on the last one too even though we overall didn't like the project okay uh there were a couple joints on that as well i feel like kevin gates does know how to make hit songs but i just felt like he needed to get this out before we can get to that yeah well i'm gonna have to give it an X. i just wouldn't recommend it if you're not a kevin gates fan but if you are you might enjoy it and if you are a fan of this type of music, you might, but I'm pretty tough when it comes to music like this, so I wouldn't recommend it. 